what have you done in the past that has worked really well as far as marketing your business? We haven't done a whole lot of marketing. And again, that's what I kind of, I kind of go back to dad getting such a reputation. And part of the reason I, I bought the business from him because at, even still to this point, 95% of our business, maybe even more is word of mouth where it's you know, customers already come to us pretty much ready to use us, you know? And so I haven't had to do a lot of that. When I first took over the business, I put ads out in a couple of the, you know, publications, a couple of the, there's some local magazines that go out, you know, a, a, it's kind of like the County magazine. I put some ads out in there. I tried to revamp the website a little bit. It still needs a lot of work. I'm still really not happy with where it's at. And that's, but you get busy and it's, I know it's the cycle, but you get busy and I don't have time to do it. And I paid somebody to do it, but there's still a lot of stuff that I need to be, you know, doing to update it. But what I would say right now is this Instagram thing has kind of come out of nowhere. I didn't expect it to be anything. My wife pushed it on me. She's like, you need to start doing this. I'm like, nobody sees what I do as interesting. Nobody really cares. But, you know, it has really kind of taken off in a way that I never would have expected. And I think what it's doing is I'm not necessarily getting jobs directly through that. I'm getting leads through it. But people see me. They see what we're able to do. They see, you know, the person that, that I am and, and what I can deliver. And they want that. You know, they feel like they've built a reputation with you and, and almost like a relationship with you before you've even met them, before you've even started with them. You're following, you know, they're following all your projects online and they see what you're doing. They see the quality that you're delivering. And, you know, they're like, that. that's who I want to have do this project for me. And I never thought it would turn out that way. I really didn't understand the power that, you know, social media had. And I'm starting to learn that and I need to get better at that. That's definitely one of the areas of business that I need to become, you know, better at is the marketing and stuff like that. But it's hard to really want to do a lot of marketing when you've already got so many jobs that you can't keep up with it as well. It's, you know, it's a fine line there of being, you know, and I don't want to necessarily grow the company to where I'm not the one doing the work. I, I got into this to be a craftsman and do the projects that I wanted to be. And maybe at some point I will slowly phase out, but people buy me they buy what I can deliver. And I feel like if I'm not necessarily the one at that point delivering that, then I'm not selling or I'm not do delivering what I'm selling. And so, you know, I feel like that's one of the trickiest areas for me to overcome is how do you deal with the, you know, when you have too many jobs and you can't get to them and you're still trying to be delivering the quality that we're trying to achieve. Do you take your own pictures or do you hire a photographer to take your pictures for your Instagram posts? Um, I have, well, we had one photographer come in at one point to take some project pictures, but 99% of the pictures are all things that I snap throughout the day. My wife will take some every once in a while, but it's almost all me just taking pictures throughout the day. She doesn't really understand what she's writing about and she gets nervous when she tries to put something on, you know, so it generally has to be me kind of explaining things. But for the most part, you know, it's me taking pictures and that part's kind of enjoyable, but it's trying to keep up with responses and, and Instagram stories and stuff like that. If I were to do all that stuff, it just feels like I'm one of those people. I get so into my work that I kind of forget to take pictures. I kind of forget to, and you're like, man, I should have taken a picture of that. That would have made a really cool photo. And then you realize, well, it's already done. So it's, that's one of the areas I'd like to grow myself in as well. I was going to ask that. Do you spend some time thinking about your post or do you, is it more just on the fly? A little bit of both. It depends. I find that Saturday mornings when I'm, when I'm working, I kind of, I don't have anybody come in a lot of times Saturday mornings. I'll just kind of might swing out to the job site, do something like that just to kind of regroup, get myself realigned for the next week, the upcoming week when nobody's around so that I can just kind of, you know, think about things, kind of think about what needs to be done. And that's usually when I'll late nights or early Saturday mornings are when I'll actually think about things that I'm writing. A lot of times it's just, you know, I'll take a bunch of pictures throughout the day and then post them at night that, you know, I just try to take pictures that I think people will find interesting. You know, we don't always get an interesting projects, but we have been recently. So I try to, you know, take some pictures that'll get people's attention. I did one with a chain mortiser. I don't know why it got so much, it was, you know, it's basically a chainsaw on a stand. I don't know why people love that one so much, but it got like a hundred thousand views and I have no idea why it's just, you know, it's a tool I use. I don't use it all the time, but I guess because it's a mean looking tool, I don't know, but some things it's, 
I, I haven't figured it out yet, but some people really find certain things interesting. I'm still trying to figure out how to harness that each and every time so that you get that. Many. <laughs> that Who doesn't want to cut mortises with a chainsaw? Right? Yeah, that is, that is true. <laughs> that is true. You didn't mention Facebook, YouTube, any of those. Are you active on those platforms? Not really. Um, Facebook a little bit. It's kind of the Instagram is linked to Facebook. Um, I started getting put on all these message boards on Facebook, all these like free, you know, these local message boards. And honestly, it was just, it became more of a hindrance because it was just all these calls for little repair work and everybody wanted the highest quality work for the cheapest price done. And I kind of got overwhelmed with people, all, all these people calling. So I don't post as much. Um, I found that Instagram seems to be a little bit more, it's just pictures, you know, there's, and you know, there's not politics as much on Instagram and all that sort of stuff. Facebook has kind of, to me, just kind of been, I, I just don't deal with it that much. You know, I like it for certain aspects, but I haven't noticed much from business. I've never gotten a job or any real positive feedback from Facebook. People like some of the photos, but it seems like for some reason, Instagram is just much more popular. And I don't know if that's just the generation or why that is. But for us in the business, it seems like Instagram is more worthwhile. 